Next up, we have an update on someone very special to the Miracle Makers family and has shown his support for Seattle Children's across multiple decades. He couldn't be here tonight, but fortunately, Bender was able to check up on him. Let's check in with our good friend, Steve Poole. You didn't think you were going to get out of this year's Miracle Makers, did you? <laughs> oh, I, I would never miss it. I, in whatever capacity I could do, I'm going to be part of it, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Over 35 years, Steve Poole has been involved with Seattle Children's Hospital. Is it really? That was the number I was given. By you, 12 minutes ago. <laughs> You've been gone for a little while. Yeah, that's true. What surprised me um, was just the response to it. Because I knew I was going out, so Mary Nam and I sat down together, and I just sort of explained what's happening. What was really going on? What I had is prostate cancer. You have a choice there. You can you can say, okay, this is what I'm dealing with right now. I can lope, mope around. I can blame it on somebody else. I can say, woe is me. But what does that do? What is, how does that go, get you where you want to go? So, so uh, that along with having uh, an amazing wife, great kids, and the support of this community, which literally, literally lifted me up. Just, I... I I was, no matter what happened, uh, I would always cherish that, and will always cherish that. I will tell you from a purely selfish point of view, you were at my wedding, you and Michelle were at my wedding, middle of September, yes. and it was less than 10 days later that the news broke. Yes, that's right. And I will tell you oh, that replaying in my head were hugs at the wedding that I wish were a little tighter. Oh, God. God bless, I, I, God was, bless that you, was, my friend. That was, it was, uh, and, and, I'm, and I'm sure that I will speak for everybody watching, for everybody in the Como building, for everybody that's ever watched you, never age a day. <laughs> <laughs> and to absolutely no disrespect to the weather team at Como, we all miss you. Oh, well, thank you so much. Terribly. Thank you so much. Everything that you went through and continue to go through, mm -hmm. imagine what the kids at yeah. CL Children's go through yes. and have to grow up just like that. Yes. Which is why Miracle Makers every year is so important. And you have been such an intricate part of the community and Miracle Makers and CL Children's for over 35 years. Um... That uh, uh, makes me a little bit emotional here because um, I never dreamed that I would have the opportunity to touch that many people and to help people in a meaningful way. Um, so it wasn't like a grand plan for me. But when I went to the hospital, I just realized that this is incredible. All of the modalities, all these things they're doing for children today and the research and all of this. And um, I was completely sold. Uh, and I realized that this place is a gem. I don't know what it's like in other cities, but I think they'd be hard pressed to have something like what we have here. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> And to you too, my friend. I appreciate you. And, and we get along so well. One of these days, you know, maybe what we should do, we, we'll get our own little show and do something, just have some fun. That's right. That totally works. <laughs> and I will continue the tradition of not working. Not working. At all. At all. Ever. At all. Um, Ever. On behalf, again, of everybody watching, of all the kids, doctors, nurses, parents, volunteers, everybody at Como, everybody in Seattle, everybody that has ever watched you, we love you. We miss you. And the camera's going to have to pull back just a bit. Here, get up. Come here. I'm going to do what everybody wishes they could do. <laughs> <laughs> you are a great friend. We love you. Yes. Thank you so much. You got the Steve hug. Yeah, I got the yeah. Steve hug. Oh, the back man. pounds. Yeah. <laughs> the manly Steve hug. We, 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 Steve, we're just, everybody else is, we miss you. We, that was, uh...
that was cool. Yeah. I mean, I, I, again, Steve and I could just chit chat for an hour and a half and realize, oh wait, the cameras aren't even on yet. Hold on a second. But I mean, he's doing so well, Doesn't and he looks great, yeah. and he's still yeah. not aging a day. <laughs> How is that possible? By the way, all of the phones should be lit for Steve right now. Right. Everybody's been watching, right? We know you wanted to All watch Bender phones. and Steve talk, and so nobody's been on the phone, but now that story's over. You can give us a call. There you go. 206-443-2468. Right? Uh, yes. That 800 number, 443-2468. We are glad you had a chance to yeah. sit and talk to Steve. He's been such an important important part of this broadcast and such a huge supporter of Seattle Children's, as have you, you know, for years. So it was great that the two of you were able to sit down and catch up. Yeah, it was, uh, it was really good, and uh, Again, you can tell he, uh, I, think he's, I think he's missing it. I think he yes. wants to come back. I think, oh, uh, yeah. you know, he was a little jealous. The three of us standing here going, hey, wait a second. That's my gig. That's, that's the middle spot. That's my spot. Yeah, yeah. wait a second. And you guys are both passionate about Seattle children. That was really cool. You get two big powerhouses sitting together talking about something that you're super passionate well, about. And this is one of the biggest causes. One, one big powerhouse and his sidekick. Oh. Hey, and if you want to, when you're talking to somebody here on the phone, if you have a message for Steve, They'll jot it down yes, on a piece of paper. Good idea. And we'll make sure that it gets to it. Or we'll just so. grab the phone and yell it to him. Yeah, we could do that as well. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> My phone. I'll just FaceTime him really quick. Do that.